Hi, my name is Caden for Castle Tutelage, Geo Home Defense Network. There's been some uh, discussion a little bit more, and, and uh, it's, it's going to be a continued discussion. And it's going to be an evolution process. If you are just a, a new to home defense and you're getting more and more involved with it, you're going to be learning things. And, and stuff that you learn today may not make sense for, for you six, six months down the line. The greatest obstacle to discovery isn't ignorance, but the illusion of knowledge. Basically, that's a long way of saying what you think you know will prevent you from learning what you should know. Okay. Now, the topic of this is going to be shotgun. Yeah, this is a Mossberg 590. This is uh, uh, one of my shotguns that I use for home defense. Now, why do I like it? <clears throat> well, simple. You can crossload it if you so choose. Uh, crossloading is uh, having an eight shot, a, a four buck, whatever, in in staggering. I'm not a big proponent of that. You can see my other videos, but there has been a discussion always about. Now this is a low brass. I think it's a seven and a half shot. I, I, you know, it's it's wholly irrelevant what this actually is. Yeah, it's a seven and a half. No, it's an eight shot. This is an eight shot low brass, and this is a double odd buck high brass, and this is a mid brass wolf uh, slug. Okay, for home defense. Home defense. Which one would you go for? Well, we need to set the table a little bit. First of all, let's set the table. Home invasion robberies. You will almost always be invaded in a home invasion robbery between two and five people storming your home with quick and overwhelming force. That is fact one. Okay. We've also discussed there are four types of home invasion robberies. Um, see my other videos if, uh, you, if you do not know what they are. But this guy right here, this shotgun, is good for certain situations of a home invasion robbery. Now, if they bum rush you through the front door after ringing the doorbell, uh, you open it up, having a shotgun is not going to help you. You're going to need quick and immediate defense with a handgun. Um, one, of the, uh, one, of the things, one of the things that you could use it uh, the shotgun is you're defending an area, you're defending a choke point, um, like a doorway, a staircase, a hallway, uh, that kind of thing. Shotguns aren't really good for tromping around the house, okay? Shotguns is a good auxiliary piece or artillery piece in a static position, okay? Now, with that, oh, with that table set up under those specific guidelines, people like to talk about over-penetration between these two rounds a lot. The, again, this is the bird shot, low brass, and then this is a double odd buck, okay? Granted, yes, this in a home environment is still going to be penetrating walls. And um, so uh, under that sense, it's going to be over penetrating. Now this going through walls is going to go through more walls. Okay. However, if you, if, if um, it, it's, it's such a layered argument that when we're getting to this, um, what is better in home defense, this if you have five people coming through a doorway, this may not take them totally out of the fight. Okay, you have a greater shot of the person being taken out of the fight with this. Again, so when you are being stormed in your home between two and five people, we we discussed about the Alamo and what the police officers, uh, well, not the police officers, what the military people do in an urban situation. You need up to nine people to defend or to defeat a person who is barricading themselves, defending a choke point like what we were discussing. Okay, so these might not be the answer. Now, they're going to say that over penetration is key when you're dealing with defending your home. That is a wrong way of looking at it. Okay, you shouldn't be concerned about over penetration. Again, when we're dealing with a shotgun, a majority of the time, you are going to be in a static position. Well, you're going to have to figure out what your static positions are going to be when you're defending a choke point, a doorway, a hallway, a staircase, that kind of thing. And then you also need to think, instead of thinking, thinking and worrying about over-penetration during a static situation, you need to think 
where the double odd buck is going to be going. That is going to be a little bit more important than anything else. So if, if you are lined up, um, I'll just say my particular situation is that uh, I won't, it's going to go through it, it, the way I'm going to set up. It's going to be <coughs> open for about 30 feet and then go through a bathroom. Then it'll go through an exterior wall. And then my best guesstimate, it is about 160 feet to my neighbor's house. So when it does all that, penetration is probably not going to be that big of a deal because, again, I have set it up where it's going to be going through all that space. And again, the farther this goes, the less devastating that it is, especially if it goes through a bathroom, a shower stall, tile, um, cement board, an exterior firewall, um, and all that distance to another neighbor. Okay, So I do have a, another position is if I am defending my staircase, well, where is this going? It's going into my cement slab. All right. So you don't have to be worrying about over penetration if it's going into a cement slab with this. So if, if, if you really think about what you're actually doing, the argument isn't that over penetration is going to be a problem. What you need to do is figure out what are your static points of your, you're defending a choke point. Again, a staircase, a hallway, a door frame, seeing where these shots. Now, Masada uh, um, Ayub, a well-known uh, person, and just look him up on the internet. He always advocates setting up static areas with bookcases. Now, these days, people don't have that many bookcases. Uh, they may have DVDs of, uh, of um, you know, Halo or something to that effect, but people are not going to have a lot of books anymore. Um, I do have, you know, two or three bookcases full of books. However, most people these days do not buy books that often. But the idea behind it is what we're really looking for. If you shoot a double on buck and your backstop is a cement wall, a bookcase, um, uh, a cement boarding for a shower stall, um, an exterior firewall, that kind of thing, where you, where you are deadening the chances of the, bu the, the bullets actually going through. And that's what you're really looking for. So again, I just want to make this very clear. The argument in overpenetration with birdshot and buckshot is misguided. It is misplaced. It needs to be focused on static positions using your shotgun, the direction of fire, and, and what barriers it needs to go through. It's a very simple mar argument. You need to stand in a different part of the room to understand what you're doing. Again, what you learn today compared to six months from now, today may not make any, any sense, but you need to keep learning and growing and figuring out, figuring out what is the best for home defense in your particular situation. Again, my name is Caden. This is Casa Tula, your home defense network. I hope this helped.